We just finished celebrating our 175th anniversary. Our parishioners don't forget that our church was founded on Irish immigrants. When I went to grade school at St. Pat's, it was a humongous school, 45, 50 kids in our class. And that school closed down sometime around 1990 when there just weren't enough children to keep it open. We were kind of worried because we thought maybe St. Patrick's would have to close. And then about 15 years ago, the Mexican community started to come here. Realmente para mí, venir de mi país aquí es venir a otro mundo. No tenemos nuestras familiares como en nuestro país que llegamos. Me ponía a llorar solo en mi cuarto. Yo extrañaba a mi familia. The parish uh, started a mass in Spanish, as I said, about 15 years ago. Pues en ese momento no extrañamos a nuestro país. Si no está uno en su país, no está uno en su pueblo, seguir uno con su tradición, no perder a mis hijos. Me siento como si estuviera en México. The biggest challenge is probably trying to get everyone to, to come together. Siempre han tratado de hacer misas bilingües para conocernos, ¿verdad? This is like I tell them, just a little bit of a foretaste of what we believe the kingdom of God is going to be. So we pray together as one family now in the words that Jesus our Savior taught us, each praying in his or her own language. There's a sense of pride at St. Pat's for being the community that welcomes the immigrants. Muchos hispanos estén allí por la aceptación que han recibido, ¿verdad? I see good, hardworking people who are trying to have a better life for their kids, just like my grandparents did and just like so many others great grandparents did. Si nosotros, nosotros solos, sacamos adelante a nuestra familia, a nuestros hijos. No.